hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm here with new video in this video i'll be web scrapping ebay website so uh, while web scrapping this website i'll be scrapping the sellers information suppose and this is for so this is the page so right now I'm searching for fashion keyword and for this fashion keyword these this is the result set on the web page and for each of the product I want to know the details about the seller where is from what's his address what is the contact details you suppose telephone number is available then get the telephone number email address and username so right now this is the product and this is the seller information so if you go to the seller information you'll get all the details about the seller so we'll be scrapping how what is the feedback score for uh, this particular seller whether he is good or not you can use this data further for your model or doing analysis or, or any other things so here the business name is drive day and the first name of seller last name of seller the address I'll show you the code but in output I'm not going to get the address and the email address how exactly I should get in get in touch with the seller so this is the requirement and I'll sh quickly show you what would be the output yeah so output would be the seller's ID which is which was there on product page and the seller's profile URL that's the anchor tag of this thing so you should be know at least basic about the HTML or the CSS based on based on which we are going to scrap we are going to scrap eBay site so here if you look at this this is the URL of the seller's profile so we'll be getting that URL just to validate if suppose we are missing something the business name of you oh, the seller the first name last name and number of feedbacks or the feedback score and the email address and if phone number is there then we'll be getting phone number as well <coughs> so this is the brief of the problem statement and what we are going to accept as an output out of this Python code so I'll walk you through the code Python code so in this code we'll be using few Python packages like uh, request to uh, to do request to the eBay server to get the raw HTML tag and once we get how exactly so there is a, mm, a beautiful soup library in the Python uh, so which is very helpful and most of uh, most of them are using this thing this library so BS4 and after that the OS which is just to change uh, change the directory working directory and the pandas to write the output so so I'm changing the current directory so eBay seller info scrapper so let's just go into the main function so whenever you'll start running the code code will start from here so main function it will call main function in main function what exactly we are doing yeah so in main function we are assigning URL so you can 
pass the argument as a URL and output file and you you can set this for Python code as per that requirement so simply by using the command from you will get the all the details so this will be the input URL and if you look here I'll be scrapping multiple pages so right now this there is no page number here if you go here so if you look here the page number is assigned here what will happen if we keeps on increasing the page number so there are multiple pages available here right so we wanted to scrap everything instead of going to do it manually we'll be using for loop to get all the details and this is just a data uh, data frame uh, the empty data frame that I'll uh, I'm creating here to store the output and append each of the record there so yeah let's get started so this is the page number tag so I'll be scrapping one to four pages from that fashion search after that I'll I'm uh, attaching the uh, appending the URL with the page number simply so initial it will be the fashion URL and first page then it keeps on increasing so after that it's calling the get index page so we are passing the new URL here and we are going to call get page function so I'll quickly show you what exactly get page function is doing so this function is doing nothing but it's uh, getting the HTML page and uh, requesting the eBay server to get the output so so right now request get URL so we are passing page one URL and we'll be getting the response out of that uh, URL so we'll be using that particular URL so this is nothing but one of the uh, attribute of uh, response uh, variable which is okay so if it's not okay that means server is not responding to our URL so there is some problem with URL or server is not responding so based on that we will be printing the uh, status of the uh, so 404 page not found something like that so it will print out that as well and uh, suppose the we are able to get the response from the URL then we are going to pass that as a XML file so XML file the, the response the HTML will be uh, in XML file so it will easy to scrap so we are uh, for that uh, we are using beautiful soup library as our as I already mentioned so after that we are using soup this soup object everywhere so out of that function I'm getting soup object which is here the output of this particular function would be soup object I'm, and after that I'm passing that soup object to get index page so basically from this page we are getting the list of products and their URLs so here soup object is coming here after that we are so these are the certain most used functions for uh, web scrapping so find all so basically it will find all the tags that are there with these attributes so so this a is nothing but the tag which is anchor tag which is there and uh, the class underscore is, is the what is the CSS class for that uh, particular anchor tag so I'll quickly show you how exactly it will look like so we are searching for products URL so that once we go into we'll be getting all the details about seller so who is the seller of this project if you go to inspect element so it will show you yeah so this is the anchor tag so this is the background URL if you click here it will go on the details of that product so we are using this particular class VIP so this is same for all the products so we'll get list of all the products that are there 
on this particular page so it will be a list suppose uh, so I'm using here try and accept suppose I'm getting some error so it will be responding as a blank string is instead of just stopping the entire Python code so that's there and after that we are creating a list and which is uh, so after that the link is a, a list of all the div tags or the anchor tags and on top of that items we wanted to extract only href which is attribute here which will be containing all the details so the output would be this one this much so out of that we just wanted to get href this link suppose you wanted to get a title then you can uh, instead of get a uh, ref href you can write get title so it will give you the title of the product so based on that we are just running through all the links and we are getting this so instead of that you can simply write here as well get the href so it will give all the tags so after that we are passing that list of urls to the output i'll show you so in the products there will be multiple uh, products links so by using that link we are going inside that product and we are again getting the details of the seller so again so this link will be each link so this loop will go for each product and it will scrape all the details of that products page which will be this page and for this page we'll be needing the username of the seller id for this product and number of feedbacks you have so yeah so gate page will get the it will do the request to uh, server and get the html and it will pass it and get the details so after that the soup object will be there and by using that soup object will be scrapping the get details function what exactly we are going to scrap I'll quickly show you that as well so in this will be scrapping the seller ID which is this and how we are identifying to scrap that particular thing yeah suppose if you go here if you go to this anchor tag and after that we are we want this area label tag so uh, so yeah before that will be so there could be multiple just to avoid uh, the list of tags just to get the root so we'll be looking at this si seller information content tag in that tag we are looking for anchor tag and in that anchor tag we are looking at the area label so soup will find so find function will give you output only the first instance of this particular tag so there is only one uh, si content tag so this will get give me output as this entire div tag till this blue line ends and inside that I'm finding out the anchor tag which is this and after that from that anchor tag I'm finding out this particular HTML parameter and so right now this particular e area label is uh, giving me all this thing but I don't want the member ID so I'm just simply replay by using the some of the strings function that are there in soup I'm just replacing the member ID with blank so that I don't get that member ID in each and every uh, seller so even there is a replace so this code is designed to scrap UK and uh, German sites uh, German eBay site so this is in German these this is the prefix that will be getting 
so just I have added the continuation to that and so same try and except I'm using here as well to avoid termination of Python script same like that I'm using the seller profile co uh, scrapping so I'm looking at this tag and get the href parameter which is sellers URL and same for the number of feedback I'm using this and I'm just using the first tag in that the first in the sense this will be the second so Python will start counting from 0 1 so second tag will be the feedback score so I'm I just want the text so text is nothing but the so inside this du class so instead of that we could use this thing directly as well sorry not this this is the final t yeah instead of that suppose we use the title as feedback score but this nine fine 90 is not a static number this will change for every seller so instead of that I'm using the second uh, so this will be the zero tag and uh, this will be the sec second anchor tag so I'm I'll be getting the text in the in between that anchor tags so I'll get that and it will sim uh, here I am creating a dictionary so a dictionary of seller ID and all those things so after that I am retaining that dictionary in back to the code here here I am getting the get the details of seller on the product page so after that by using that seller link I am going inside that page and scrapping the personal details of the seller like email and all this thing so once I get the data so here I am printing on which page I am and which product I am scrapping this is that and after that I am getting the URL into the seller URL variable <coughs> and by using this seller URL variable I am getting the <coughs> other details of the seller so same thing page will uh, get the HTML text and soup object by using that <coughs> excuse me by using that soup object I'm extracting the personal details of seller so these are the certain this is not exactly a global that was the thing so I'm just simply creating variables uh, initializing it so just to get just not to get an error so after that so business name as I mentioned earlier suppose if you go here and if you inspect this thing so business name is nothing but this thing so I'll show you exactly what I'm doing there so <coughs> yeah so inside this BSI table business seller information table I'm scrapping the div tab where the class is row if you check everywhere it's row only so it's difficult to get the only value of this thing so like I need this thing so after going to here if I give ID or class of this span class span, span tab tag so I'll be getting these details only not the th this so how exactly you are going to identify which is business or what will which is the first name and all this thing so based on this thing itself I'm searching for I'm getting finding all the BSI uh, row level tags find all and after that I'm running one more loop just to get which tag do you want so here the output I mean I'm just searching if something is there in that tag so output would be something like this so the in the zeroth instance of that list I'll be getting this particular div tag and the first I'll be getting this tag 
and all these things so inside this the exact HTML code be, uh, will be there so I'm searching for business name whether a business name is there or not so business name is there then go inside and get the spans BSI cell value which is this one which is same across all the DU tags so it's so it will give me the text which is Andrew drive day so it will give drive day in my B name business name same thing I'm doing for so this the elsif part is for the German website and after that same thing I'm doing for first name so I'm just searching for the first name tag or the first name string inside that du tag so if something is there then just I'm doing this on all the du tags that I'm, I'm getting so same for last name even for VAT ID suppose it's there then telephone number the phone number is also this is telephone number for UK this is German telephone number get the telephone number after that address so for address it's different address value so even if you do all the find value thing suppose if you go here so initially I thought it's easy but after that uh, so if you write span here even after all the tags you you'll get only this value so just to get all the text and attach it uh, append the string so I have created a dummy string here and I'm updating all the, the appending that original string with the multiple lines of addresses based on this cell value so this is the first line this is second line and all these things like that same thing for email the I'm searching for email tag and after that at the end I'm creating a dictionary of all these variables and passing it through so after that I'll, I'm getting the all the sellers personal information and after that once I get the sellers uh, information and the product information from the product page so I'm simply combining these two dictionaries so how exactly I'm combining so I'm you I have wrote one more function just to merge these two dictionaries so this will be first dictionary and this is second so first copying to the third new and I'm updating that by doing this just to make it simple or look easier mm, so in final I'm getting all the details so once I get the details so maybe I'll show you how exactly the final this thing is looking like the final dictionary with all the tags mm, so this is dictionary after that I'm uh, doing loop out so basically on that uh, just to append the original uh, data frame that I have created um, pass crea uh, converting dictionary into local data frame this will be loop output and appending that loop output inside with the original so this will keeps on getting updated for every product and seller detail so after that on top of that I'm just doing certain operations so there could be multiple products that one seller is selling so we just need a distinct uh, seller information not the repetitive so I'm just dropping that seller information and after that I was not looking at the address tag so I'm just re I was removing it and after that I'm adding one more condition so there are multiple instances where uh, seller's inform uh, email address is not there so it's very difficult to get in touch with him so so based on that wherever the email address is null or blank so I'm just dropping that entire row so so the tags were I'm um, the columns were shuffled shuffled in the sense it was not in the sequence that 
I want it to be so that's why I'm mm, arranging them and after that I'm writing that data frame into the CSV so we'll simply run this code and we'll get to know we'll check whether this is opened or not this is open so I'm just don't save so this is the output so this will be the output of this code so we are printing the initially we are printing which page we are on and the which product we are scrapping so around 50 products are there on each page so we'll be scrapping only four maybe I'll reduce it to only one page so there are 50 pages uh, 50 products sorry so after that it will be so let's run this code this is the page number we are on first page and 12 product is getting and this is the final dictionary seller details everything is there so once we get the details we are writing it to appending to the original data frame that we want so it will run till 50 products just wait for that maybe meanwhile I'll stop the video and I'll resume it once it's done okay yeah so all the products got scrapped so there were total 50 products so this is the page number and the number of products and the, this is the seller information and in the form of dictionary the seller ID seller profile link number of feedbacks first name so for this business details is not there so that's why it's coming out blank so let's see the output as well yeah, so this is the output so it's opening so here's the output so these are the all distinct values this is the profile detail profile link first name and all that thing. so let's quickly check whether it's showing correct or not mm -hmm. change details this is the profile link so for German it's this thing but the tag it seem so for name which this is the business name so business name is coming as this essential equipment UK that's coming correct first name is Larry second name last name is King and the number of feedbacks are three 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 five which is correct and after that the Larry's email address and phone number is not available so that's it it's getting scrapped see you soon and just one more thing if you like this video please make sure you are sharing this video and thanks for commenting on different videos so I'll be responding on that as soon as possible see you soon guys